What's up, my friends? It's Peter Keller, AKA PK, coming to you from my garage gym in Austin, Texas. I got my squat rack here, my barbells there, and my secret weapon, my blower, right there on the wall. One of these days I'll talk to you about my blower. If you don't have a battery powered blower, you need to get one right now for your garage gym. It is your secret weapon. But the video today is not about the blower, it's actually about barbells. And what it's about with barbells is barbell lengths. So we get a few questions about different lengths of the barbell, and I want to explain to you what lengths actually matter. So the main questions that we get, and by the way, this is a kid's bar. This weighs five pounds. I'm not a super strong, amazing Superman, or maybe I am, but in this case, it's just a five pound bar. You can toss it all around made out of aluminum. So let's talk about barbell lengths. There are usually three main questions that we get. And those questions are, what is the distance collar to collar? That's number one distance inside the collars here, or when this bar is on your back and you're racking it into a squat, what's the distance in between here? So that's question one. Question two that we get is what is the loadable length of the sleeve? When I say loadable length, I mean if you were sliding plates onto here, how many plates could you slide on or how much space is there to slide plates on? And then the third question we commonly get is how long is this total section here of the collar sleeve, including this shoulder? And usually what people are looking to do is they have a squat rack that they kind of want in a corner or against a wall, or maybe they're doing a barbell storage solution like this, and they want to know how far those bars are going to stick up above. So, Let's really quickly talk about that loadable length from sleeve to sleeve. Great news, you really don't have to worry about it much. For all normal Olympic bars, this is to say 20 kilogram, 15 kilogram, all normal Olympic bars, including powerlifting bars and things like that, they're going to have the same exact distance, sleeve to sleeve, and that is to say about 51.5 inches. Now, why does a 20 kg bar and a 15 kg bar, you know, a men's bar, quote unquote, and a women's bar, quote unquote, why do they have the same distance sleeve to sleeve? I bet you already know. It's so that if you're racking them on a standard squat rack for bench, for squat, for rack pulls, for anything like that, that both of those bars will cleanly fit in between the uprights. So again, if you're curious about the distance right here, in between the sleeves on a standard bar, not this five pound kids bar, a standard bar, it's gonna be about 51.5 inches, and that's gonna be pretty standard across just about every Olympic bar that you can find. Now, when we talk about the sleeve loadable length, that's the number two thing to think about. That is gonna differ between 15 and 20 kg bars. So I've got two 20 kg bars here against the wall, and I've got one 15 kg bar against the wall. And we can look here at this 15 kg bar. We've got about 12 and a half inches of loadable length. And then on this 20 kg bar, we've got about 16 and a half inches of loadable length. Now on this 20 kg bar, we've got about 16 inches of loadable length. Not a big difference on those 20 kg bars. That said, I have seen some 20 kg bars with pretty wide shoulders that decrease the amount of loadable length. Now, when does this come into play? The main area on a normal bar that the loadable length comes into play is if you have very thick bumper plates and you are a strong or have a strong male athlete who is deadlifting. That's the main area where you have to worry about the loadable length of the sleeve. So if you have extra thick bumper plates, not even normal bumper plates, but extra thick bumper plates, and you've got typically a male athlete, I know there's some strong, bad, amazing females out there, but typically it's not an issue for female lifters, and you've got a really strong deadlift going on. That said, 
with the thickest bumper plates I've ever seen and the smallest loadable length barbells I've ever seen, you can still load those bars up to above 400 pounds. So the great news is that if you can deadlift less than 400 pounds, then you really don't ever have to worry about the loadable length on a sleeve. But I get it. I've deadlifted over 400 pounds before, although I'm not in shape to do that right now. And you hate to think that you are limited by your equipment. So I totally get it. That said, all of the normal barbells that we sell at Fringe Sport right now, all the 20 kgs, it's not going to be a limiting factor. You're going to be able to load them up to at minimum 500 to 600 pounds, even if you're just using bumper plates. All right, now let's take a look at the other issue. And the other issue is the total length of this collar, including the shoulder and loadable sleeve. So first, let's go to this 15 kg bar that I've got back here. We've got a total length of about 14 inches. And then on the 20 kg, we've got about 17 and a half inches. And then on this other 20 kg, also about 17 and a half inches. So that's not gonna vary too much between 15 kg bars or 20 kg bars. And again, it's mostly useful if you're just trying to put a squat rack into a corner or you're trying to work out a bar storage situation. So those are the main questions that we get about some of the measurements of length for a barbell. Of course, we get other questions about the diameter of the shaft and all sorts of stuff like that, which I go into in other videos. So let me recap really quickly. The three main questions we get about barbell length, other than of course, just what is the total length, is the length shaft to shaft, which is gonna remain the same for almost every bar out there. We also get the question of what is the loadable length of each sleeve, which is gonna vary between 15 and 20 kilogram bars, and also gonna vary a little bit from bar to bar, but generally speaking, you don't need to worry about that. And then we get questions about what is the measurement of these collars. So I hope I have educated you a little bit. This has been Peter Keller. I am here in my garage gym in Austin, Texas. I don't have short shorts on today because it's a little bit brisk today. But if you're watching this and you're watching all the way to the end, please like, subscribe, tell a friend, visit us at Fringe Sport, buy some garage gym gear. We're in my garage gym. Why don't you show me your garage gym? This has been your boy, Peter Keller from Fringe Sport. I want you to lift heavy and lift happy.